Richard Tice has urged Boris Johnson to defy Brussels' money-grabbing demands and instead turn the tables on the EU and hand Ursula von der Leyen an ultimatum. Brexiteer Richard Tice, leader of the Reform UK Party, has urged Boris Johnson and Lord David Frost to stand up to Brussels once and for all. Earlier today, Downing Street rejected Brussels' suggestions that the final Brexit divorce bill settlement should be £2 billion more than previously agreed. The government had estimated that the money owed to the EU was between £35 billion and £39 billion, but the EU is claiming the correct amount is actually £40.8 billion, Talk Radio host Mike Graham said, why would we bother paying fines to the EU? Mr. Tice responded, we are going to keep seeing these stories until the EU come to their senses and play ball on the issue of the Northern Ireland Protocol, I wouldn't pay them anything. I would give them a really, really short time frame otherwise we have got to scrap the protocol and start again. Mr. Graham said the UK might as well scrap the whole thing and say no deal at this point. The former Brexit Party MEP continued, Boris and Lord Frost have to stand up to the EU now and say they are not going to pay any more money. The EU has got to sort out this Northern Ireland protocol. Until that is done just press the pause button on everything else. We should turn the tables back on them and say sort out of the protocol in a couple of weeks or we are done, they have got to realize we are a sovereign independent nation. We are going to thrive. We have a great opportunity here. The sum was published in the EU's accounts for 2020, which also state that the UK should pay the EU £5.8 billion this year. The EU divorce bill includes the UK's share of the bloc's debts and liabilities during its 47 years of membership and includes paying for infrastructure projects and pensions of Brussels officials.